Hello, everybody, and happy Friday. It's December 3rd, 2021. I'm Bolt Matrix, and there is some news we need to talk about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. First up, we've got our first look at possibly a new Buzzsaw figure, obviously made after the Kingdom Waspinator. If you don't know what Kingdom Waspinator is, check out my review of that figure. It's pretty good. This, it's just, it's just a black, white, and purple, and green wasp with a Buzzsaw head. If you don't know, Buzzsaw was the original repaint of Waspinator way back in the day. And I, for one, welcome this figure. I'm looking forward to it. I will definitely be picking it up if it's real or not. Uh, I'm trying to see. There's no one. There, there's nothing saying where this picture came from, which sucks. Uh, let's see. Yeah, not a fan of the new head. Um, That was the original head. Buzzsaw had a bat-like head. He just did. Sorry, dudes. Next, we've got Shockwave Lab upgrade kit for Teletran once dash mainframe. It comes with leg fillers times two, arm fillers times two, and a gun. And you know what? Let me see if I can open this in a new tab so we can get a better look at it. There we go. So we got the leg fillers, the arm fillers, and dick gun. Yeah, I'm, I might actually have to pick this set up because I really like it when... You've got fillers for the legs and the arms. I really do. Oh, excuse me. I really do appreciate having the filler kits. I, it makes the figures feel complete. It, it sadly does. Next up, we've got Iron Factory from their Weibo account. Iron Ser Samurai Series Kage Shishimaru. Figure is a black reed deco of Yoroi Shishimaru, a.k.a. Samurai Leo Convoy. And... It, it looks pretty good, the black and the red, and then the demon head and the bat wings. Very yo. It's not a yokai. I want to say it. It's not even a manticore. I'm. This is definitely based off of a. a maybe it is a. No, yokais are ghosts. It's definitely based off of a Japanese creature of myth, but I'm not sure which one. I can't argue with the look though. It is a strikingly nice looking figure. Even if I'm not the, oh, what the heck was that? Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Iron Factory, I still think some of their figures just look mwah, so good. Next up, we're moving into Kingdom and Studio Series news. First up, Kingdom Core Class Hot Rod. Official images. I think this looks great. Yeah, the Core Class isn't the, the most detailed of figures in the world. But I really like them. I'm literally looking at the shelf of them above my computer monitor. Uh, Prime, Starscream, Soundwave, Megatron. They're some of my favorite figures from this past year. And I'm really looking forward to getting Hot Rod. My only complaint. Good lord, does he need to have some of that red broken up more. Especially in the ar forearms and on the front of the legs. Good gravy. But I can't argue with the vehicle mode. It looks exactly like how I thought a figure of this size was going to look. And I'm really looking forward to getting a hold of it. Now, when will I get a hold of it? Who the hell knows? But I'm sure somebody will review it next week. And speaking of people getting a hold of figures early, Chefatron over at YouTube has Deluxe Class Ratchet. Studio Series Bumblebee. Bumblebee Movie Studio Series Ratchet. I gotta admit, this thing looks great. This figure looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, the chest is probably hollow when it transforms into robot mode, but I don't care. I really don't care. It's tiny, though. Good grief. That is Deluxe Class, what was that, Siege Ratchet? And, or is it Earthrise Ratchet? I can never remember. And it's a whole head shorter. It is tiny, but it's the same size as Wheeljack, so okay. And... Canonically, Ratchet was taller than Wheeljack in the show. I love the robot mode. I think it is all kinds of wonderful looking. And I adore this vehicle mode. It it looks so cool. I love it. I, only really complaint I have about the vehicle mode is the wheels. Mushroom pegs for the wheels again. Ah, well. And yeah, it looks it looks really good. I'm definitely looking forward to picking this guy up. Now, also, another person got a hold of the figure that I am most looking forward to, and that is Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Brawn. 
I think the face is hideous, but otherwise it looks amazing. And it really feels like a it really feels like they took the grunts from Halo and turned them into an Autobot. It it does. I mean that back that backpack and everything. I love this little I love the alt mode. It is so cute. I love it. It is so tiny. It is so it, it just works for me. I really, really like it. And it's got this little drill in the front or that can attach to the front. And just an FYI, the gun that Braun comes with and the gun that Ratchet comes with, same exact mold, just different colored plastic. I I absolutely adore this Braun. Braun, and back in the day, Braun was my favorite character on the show that he wasn't around much. He didn't get much view time on the show. But man, I, I love the look of this thing. I am I am so getting this. Heck, I might get a second one, send it to my buddy Grimlockimus, and ask him to make an Outback version. Yeah, it, it's, it's on my list of must-own figures. And from the column of, I honestly don't remember if I spoke about this, but apparently Alpha Tryon and Orion Pax are rumored as an exclusive two-pack in 2022. Now, this comes from, I think it was JT Toys or J something Toys. I don't remember, but it's Grain of Salt. And Orion, Alpha Tryon is supposedly going to be a remold of what was it scourge and orion pax is going to be a remold of sdc of um studio series cup so here are some digibashes or here's a digibash of orion pax that works incredibly well i think this could be a very good figure even if it's already been done before i mean i don't really think we need another one but sure why not it makes sense Unfortunately, there's no Digibash of Alpha Trion into or from the Scourge Scourge mold, which I think we already saw a little bit of that from Iron Factory, and we've seen that from some third other third party companies. So, grain of salt, as I said, but it could be cool. We'll have to just wait and see. Okay, now to the meat of the video. We are talking about the Studio Series and Kingdom Roundtable that happened earlier today. That's where the hot rod images came from. We also got a look at RC. More on that in a minute. There were Hasbro team members, Mark, Ben, Rachel, Sam, and Evan, and then a bunch of fan people. Uh, I believe Rodimus Primal was on there. I don't remember who else was there. I didn't even know this was happening. I was, I've literally been in the, the coal mines for work. So I was in the middle of work. So Studio Series Wave 1, Ratchet, Wheeljack, Bronze, Soundwave, Ravage, Shockwave. We've gotten, we've seen all of those before. So, some details. Ratchet has a port on the alt mode to hold the blaster. They began with a concept art showing the windscreen and the shoulders with quarter panels, working with Takara to make a loyal render. Wheeljack was one of Sam's favorite to work on, using G1 elements with Cybertronian look based on the Bumblebee and Cliffjumper look. So, confirmed that they are based off of the cliff jumper slash bumblebee cybertron molds original wheeljack didn't have wheels on the robot mode but they decided to hide them like the cybertronian look they feel it came out like an old design which i agree with brawn smallest of the characters duh uh let's see here it comes with a blaster and a drill bit weapon sort of like batman begins with look with a front drill so the tumbler I don't, I don't follow that. Designed by Haisui at Takara, I think I pronounced that incorrectly, sorry, who wanted to add a drill to the alt mode. Ah, okay, just like that original G1 episode where the drill popped out of his, the front grill and the, uh, the hood of the car. Very good cut. Nice, deep cut. I appreciate it. Has off-road tires, cowboy ballistic shield with lights like bumblebees. Soundwave, controversial figure, was one of the first they wanted to include in the Studio Series line because fans love it. Had a battle with Optimus Prime as well. Added articulation on the figure. He had a long he had a long on-screen look, so they set out to find a form that would fit. They went with a classic look, but not as a tape deck, and chose a hovercraft design. Okay, so he is a hovercraft tank or a hover tank. 
Wanted to have ports and different windows instead of a tape deck in alt mode. They went for a Cybertronian look with with uh, Takusan of Takara. Ravage. Funny thing they didn't mention here, but something that Vangelis said in his Twitter thread. Ravage was the only alt mode that they could run off of from the movie. All of the other alt modes, they had to design themselves in-house. So Ravage, because he popped out of Soundwave's chest, was the only one they had an alt mode to go off of. Shockwave, the only one not to scale. They wanted to highlight the core class with a popular character. Low price point, made affordable. They've also I've read other places that they're going to look at bringing him back as a larger scale if the rest of this line sells well. So, cool. That's very cool. I'm fine with Shockwave being a core class at this time. It's still a really cool-looking figure. Kingdom Wave 5. and eh, we've spoken about these. Pipes. Let's a uh, lovable character made from the Huffer Mold. They, they moved the cab front to go behind the head, which has pipes for weapons and different tires. Long-awaited figures, lots of detail, looked in a mode, can tow Optimus Prime's trailer. Pipes acts as blasters with ports that can double up. The head is made made off the animation model. Match the cartoon colors with the design with a design help from Takusan of Takara. Slammer weaponizer. I I don't know if I didn't look at the pictures yet. Uh format, same format as Cog and Six Gun. Worked with Takara, G1, Kingdom Level style figure. He has a third mode that turns into a tower for Metroplex. And I believe there are pictures of that. His, has a weaponizing mode that includes a chainsaw, a mega blaster gun turret, and missile launchers. These can be combined with other figures. No, duh. And apparently, the giant chainsaw can be split into two chain swords, which is very cool. We'll get to the Q&A in a second. I want to jump down and look at pictures. So there's... Here is Ratchet. Again, I love the mold. I absolutely love the mold. Wheeljack looks very cool. I was bummed that they kind of they kind of used the same mold as a as Sunstreaker, geez, as a Bumblebee and Cliffjumper, but a hey, that's fine. Not a big deal. It still looks rad though. It really does. There is the there is Braun, who is my boy. I need that figure. Soundwave, which robot mode looks great. I love the robot mode. This art of the hover tank mode or hover whatever mode, I think works a lot better than what they ended up with as the actual alt mode. But they don't show the actual alt mode here. Also, there is apparently flaps that cover up the crotch a little bit better in on the toy. So who knows? And there's Ravage. Still like the Shockwave. I think it works. It feels lo more like an homage to um, Transformers Prime Shockwave. Pipes. Slammer. Ah, oh, there it is. Chainsaw Sword. Giant Missiles. Nice. Shadow Panther. I, I don't have any love for Shadow Panther. There is the Tower Mode. Very cool. There it is as a demo of the Tower Mode. Awesome. And somebody was sharing their screen on a Mac. I'm being nosy and just seeing what app, what apps they have installed. <laughs> God, I'm such a nerd. I, I like the fact that they added a tower. That's very cool. There's Hot Rod. Pipes. Oh, cool. The, web, um, the sword for Hot Rod works with other characters. Nice. I like the Hot Rod figure. I do. And there, here we go. RC. I still think she looks great there. And I am, I am stoked for this figure because that is an absolutely beautiful alt mode. It, oh, I'm so happy that they went with something like this because it's kind of a combination of the G1 and the movies and RC in Transformers Prime. Oh, I love it so much. I love it. Oh, that, that makes me so stupid happy. Yeah, it's probably a bit on the simplistic side. I don't care. It's something new and unique and just mwah, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, she has a backpack. 
I'm fine with it because it looks like it belongs and it looks like it's going to work and she's not a shell former. Yeah, the backpack flips out and forms the back of the vehicle mode and, well, maybe not the back of the vehicle mode. Maybe it does form the front and parts. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I'm getting this figure. I'm stoked for it. She comes with two guns. Fantastic. Oh, it just... Bravo, Hasbro. Bravo. You've done... You've done good by RC and she's not so thin that she can't freaking stand her legs actually have thickness to her to them it's oh I'm super excited for this figure it it's everything I've wanted for an updated RC plain and simple that's the long and short of it I'm I'm ah, I hit the wrong button well done Hasbro you, I'm super, super stoked. I can't wait to see that. Okay, now let's get up back up to the Q and A. Let's see. We'll take a look at some of these questions. What was the design process for the head of Brawn? A lot of characters were based off the Bumblebee movie from the bot modes. It was done from the original movie design. They started with the actual IML CADs file to work with Takara to make them a little design. Robot modes came directly from the CAD. Cool. When can we expect to see the toys? Street date is February 1st, 2022. They're already out in in certain Asian markets for some reason. Ah, okay, this question right here is really interesting. Was Soundwave's alternate mode from the GI from GI Joe mode? No. They worked with somebody at Takara. I I can't pronounce that and I don't want to try to butcher it on the alt mode. A lot of it was looking different at different options of tape players and copter-like designs before they settled on a heart of hovercraft. They didn't want to remove robot elements to make an alt mode, such as a tape bay. They had to have a deep cavity for Ravage, which was the best compromise. The resemblance to the G.I. Joe alt mode was purely by accident. Okay, cool. So it's a hover tank, and it's alt mode on whatever that alt mode was, was in that, that was in that G.I. Joe comic book. Completely accident. Totally understand that. Will concept art of non-movie characters... Will concept art of non-movie characters a potential new figure? Uh, gray area. They don't know yet. They've still got options, so that's the long and short of it. Will we see more studio series figures that need to be done? They're aware of the cinematic universe of all the characters. They have a list and know they have a lot to do. A lot of the films have models that were revisited and were made from the concept and or that that were revisited and were made from the concept and or the fun final they could go back to the cad files and possibly do them in core class oh cool that that's very cool wheeljack has a car mode why not go with a boxy van a lot of that stemmed from the established scales that they work off height charts they also loot they also loot they also look at the alternate modes and colors, etc. Like the windscreen let lead to them led to them choosing more of a Lancia rally car than a boxy Cybertron form. This is because they didn't want to sacrifice the bot form. They looked at the list of paint past modes but wanted something more plausible. That actually makes sense. I I don't know how they would do a boxy alt mode and still retain the look of the movie robot mode. I don't know how they would do that. And I'm definitely not a toy designer. Slammer is a partial model based on Airwave? What was the robot mode based on? Yes, he was based on Airwave, and they leave it to Takara to choose what and how much will be reused. They want to make them look as new as possible. Slammer doesn't have a past robot mode, so they look at the official and fan art designs. Mark used the head sculpt based on the common look fans have made. They then work with Takara to go back and forth with the final character designs. That's cool. I mean, yeah, what do you do when you have a character that never really had an official robot mode? So they got to take inspiration from all over the place. That that makes sense. And then, like, Six Gun, he never really had an official alt mode. So what do they do? They turn it into a VTOL, and it works. And then they have, shoot, I'm forgetting who the other one is. Darn it. Anyway, yeah, Six Gun, Slammer. Yeah, I'm really happy that, they're make, that they've made both of them and we're getting finally getting Slammer in an official capacity. Good move, Hasbro. Just going over to a different website 
to take a look at some of the Q and A breakdown. I, I missed a couple of things. So let's see, uh, possibility of doing toys based on concept art of characters that look different or never made it in the movies. Right now, because they were in movie, at least in one form, that's how they justify going with the studio series. But if there is demand, they would consider concept art versions or similar. Neat. Uh, was the Ravage design inspired by the 3.0 version? Nope, it's from ILM. All doors are open. What's possible with studio series going forward? Other OG on film guys that need to be done, the Fallen, Frenzy, Brains, etc. They know they've got a lot of work to do to fill the roster. Movie 5, for example, is still coming. Or is that mo no, Movie 5? Which one was Movie 5? Yeah, they, they still got a couple of others. And let's face it, we got a whole Bumblebee movie coming out next year. So there are going to be figures there. Uh, IDW re rumors. They can't speak to that today. No kidding, guys. Why are you even asking that? Who are the most challenging to create alt mode, Soundwave, and Brawn? So yeah, the, I think this was a really good, a really good thing they did. I, I like this idea. I think it's it's a cool idea. Now, let's see. Yeah, I still think Soundwave's alt mode is ridiculous, but I, I can kind of see it to be a hover tank, hover crab. It, it works. It's fine. Let's see. Any other pictures that we missed? Nope. I I think. I think a lot of what was revealed and talked about today was very cool. I'm really happy with what they do, and I'm really appre I'm really appreciative of these of these live streams. I think they're very cool, and I want to see more of them going forward. All right, folks, that was a ton of news for today, December third, two thousand and twenty-one. I'm gonna have two reviews going up for you this weekend. One is of a KO of a figure, and the others are of um. Well, you'll just have to wait and find out on Sunday. They're real stupid. Anyway, let me know what you think of all this news down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Bolt Matrix, and I hope you all have a great weekend.